Welcome back to Whisper Gaming ASMR. And just to say this up front, I do upload two versions of all of my videos. One with quiet game audio and one with no game audio. So depending on what you're watching, uh, if you're listening with game audio and you'd prefer no game audio, if you go down to the description box, you will find a link to the other video and vice versa. So realized a lot of people don't know that and they think I'm uploading the same video twice. So I'm just going to start saying that at the top of my videos in case you'd prefer to be listening to the other version, but you weren't aware it existed. But now that that is out of the way, we are back in World of Warcraft. Oh my god, I can't talk. World of Warcraft Classic. And we're continuing our journey with the level 5 Night Elf Hunter Jasara. It has been a few days since I last played. So it looks like I have a little bit of rested XP built up. And to quickly refresh myself. It looks like we were doing, is it Ifron? Ifron's antidote. Our night elf friend who was bitten by a spider. We need to get some ingredients to craft an antidote for him to hopefully prevent him from dying. And then we also... also have to fill a crystal vial from um, one of these some type of uh, some type of fountain which I think we've passed a few times we are not working with much bag space because I'm holding on to these ruined belts and I plan to take up leather working and I think you can craft these into light leather I'm not 100% sure, and honestly, I will be a little bit annoyed with myself if, uh, if I carried all that stuff around in my bag for no reason for a long time. Okay, I think that well is over here. It might be this thing on the map right there. Kind of why 
I started this channel in the first place. I'm sure I've said this in past videos, but I'm working on a lot of projects outside of my job right now. Well, not, I guess, kind of a lot, but time-consuming. I'm working on teaching myself a few musical instruments and trying to learn how to sing so I can start performing. Um, and then also working on some photography pro projects and then just general well-being stuff like trying to exercise more and eat healthy and meditate and maintain personal relationships and all that stuff. So anyway, it feels like I have a full-time job outside of my regular full-time job, which is sales for a tech company, which is relatively stressful, at least for me. But I'm struggling to find a way to relax because when I did find some free time, like watching a movie or TV show or something, um, I would just feel guilty that I wasn't being productive and I couldn't feel like I wasn't really able to fully enjoy it. But then when I'd be doing productive stuff, I'd be wanting to relax and just watch a movie or watch TV and not be productive, so either way, I was constantly wanting to be doing what I wasn't, so if I was being productive, I wanted to relax, and if I was relaxing, I felt bad about not being productive, so that's what gave me the idea to get back into video games, since I had really not played video games much at all the past two or maybe three years. Here or there, I'd play something with friends, but I didn't really play any games on my own regularly. But video games kind of scratch both itches because you are accomplishing tasks and things like that, and it, at least for me, almost gives you the, the illusion that you're being productive because you're gaining levels and completing quests and getting better at things. So, yeah, it fulfills that need, but also it's more relaxing and you can get a lot better. It's a lot easier to progress at a video game than it is with uh, learning a musical instrument or building a photography portfolio. So I started playing Stardew Valley and in typical me fashion, I couldn't just relax and play it. I'm like, oh, I've always wanted to start some type of YouTube channel, and I've always kind of been interested in, I guess, like, voiceover work, or start starting a podcast, or something like that, and uh, I've been a fan of ASMR for a long time, so I'm like, I'm already playing video games, it wouldn't be that much harder to record them, and whisper to myself into a microphone, so that's what I did. And uh, that's how this channel came to be, so I'm not positive how this ramble started, but yeah, World of Warcraft feels pseudo-productive, and maybe that's why this game is the one that I'm looking forward to the most right now, because uh, it feels like I'm running around accomplishing tasks when, even on paper, it seems like it'd be kind of repetitive and boring. Okay, so I filled the crystal vial. Who do I need to bring this back to? That's the thing. When I take time between these videos, I forget a lot of the stuff that I was doing. Go to the moon wall, okay. Okay, I need to bring it back to the leader guy at the top of Ultrasol. Ultrasol. I really wish I knew how to pronounce all of these uh, World of Warcraft names and locations. But speaking of starting a podcast, I met up with one of my friends that I've made in New York last night. Um, we typically meet up like once a month or once every other month at a, a rice pudding place. And he's actually the one that, that introduced me to it. I had never had rice pudding before. But uh, we've been talking about starting a podcast for about a year now, but it kind of 
we talked about it and it didn't really go anywhere, neither of us really pushed it forward. But I brought it up again last night and we've decided once I get back from traveling next month we're going to finally take the plunge, so I'm very excited about that. Okay, let's turn this back in. The moon well holds the waters of the well of eternity, the ancient source of magic that has wrought so many horrors upon our world. The druids take advantage of its properties, and the sentinels revere the well as shrines that illume. But sorcery is forbidden to all. So you have heard the first part of the aftermath of the Battle of Mount Heichel. There is much more to be told, and the task you have begun here will continue through the rest of your journey through Teldrassil and into Darnassus. Warlock, probably 
Undead would be better, just because, again, it's like another dark starting area like this. And I feel like, wow, okay, this might be good for me. Someone is killing all these spiders. Looks like there's plenty up ahead, though. So, yeah, I was thinking if I do do a troll, I said do do. Oh, I forgot to use my serpent strike. I might do like a troll rogue. I'm assuming trolls can be rogues. So yeah, I was thinking like Torin. Okay, I don't want these tips anymore, I don't think. A Torin druid. Undead warlock. human mage, or no mage, I'm like, oh nice, oh, that was easy, and I think I'm about to come back here and kill the main big spider that I killed in a previous episode, but yeah, a human mage or a no mage, I'm torn on which one I'd do for that, maybe like a dwarf paladin, I don't know, I'm not I did play a Drawn Eye Paladin in retail back in Cataclysm. That was like my main character. But, um, yeah, I'm not super, like, into the warrior paladin classes as much. Like, I'd say Hunter, Druid, and Sorcerer, or Mage are classes that interest me the most, and I'd probably say Warlock after that. So, if any of those really speak to you, and you'd like to see me play one of them, please let me know. A lot of running in this game. Um, and then, yeah, I still do want to record some retro gaming videos on my RGX 35XX. Been having some fun with that lately. Um, yeah, I don't know exactly what games I'd play on it. Because Pokemon Pinball has been probably the game I've enjoyed the most. Let me turn this in first. Thank you alone, you have gathered these ingredients so quickly. In just a moment, I will have the antidote prepared. And we are level 6. The antidote is ready. Please see that everyone dr drinks it. There is something that you should know. The antidote will only remain viable for 5 minutes. You must get it to him in time. Speed be with you. I got their timed quests in this game. Wow, those pants, no. Oh, those pants suck. Oh, because they're cloth. None of these rewards even work for me. Okay, I gotta run. But yeah, for retro gaming, I've been playing um, Pokemon Pinball. Some different Mario games. Uh, I think it's Super Mario 3 Yoshi. I think that's Yoshi's Island. Yoshi's Island's the one I've been playing the most. I just messed around with WarioWare for Game Boy Advance yesterday for a couple minutes. I've heard a lot of good things about those games. Um, I started... I think it's Link's Awakening. I think I started the one on the app for the original Game Boy, though. I think there's one for the Game Boy Advanced. Or maybe that's Link to the Past. And I may have also started uh, the Minish Cap. I can't remember if I started that or not. If I did, I didn't get very far in it. And then I also started The Hobbit for Game Boy Advanced. Because I remember playing that game as a kid and getting stuck on one part. I think when you're like in the mountains and go into the caves or something. I remember getting stuck and just giving up and never getting past that part. 
are. Let's see, Ochisara, I'm so glad you have returned. Well, this is Chisara. Oh, I knew Dorana would help. I would be able to help me. I'm always getting into trouble in Tarania. Well, she always manages to help me out of it. I'm feeling much better, but I think I will sit here for a while longer until I feel completely better. Well, that and I was hoping you'd clear a path for me through those vicious webwood web wood spiders. I did not like that sound. Okay. Um. Yeah, that Abbe game, I got stuck on one part that I never got past. So, that's why I wanted to start the game and see if I could get back to that spot and figure out what I had missed as a child. I must have played it in like 5th or 6th grade. I think it was 5th grade. Um, and then I've been letting... My girlfriend does not really play video games at all. But I guess growing up, she played this Finding Nemo game on Game Boy Advance, and uh, I found that for her, and she's been playing that quite a bit and enjoying it, so it's nice to see her actually like enjoy a video game. I've never seen that before, and I've always kind of wished we could play games together. Like, we can't play Finding Nemo together because it's single player, but it's a step in the right direction. Maybe one day I'll find a game that she enjoys that we can play together. So yeah, that's on my Wanna Playlist. And then I need to make more Minecraft videos. Because those are by far the most popular videos on my channel. Especially the ones with hard candy. So I want to make more of those. Um, yeah, and I downloaded the Cobblemon mod, so I want to make some videos with that, and I'm also going to play Minecraft um, on my desktop now instead of on my Mac, so I should be able to play it at higher settings, and um, I was say higher settings, and I think I can actually install some shaders now. Which should make the game look a little bit better. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to install iris shaders along with um, the Cobblemon mod. I found a video that says it explains how to do it. I just haven't watched it, so I might try to install that later today. And I also want to make um, some World of Warcraft videos with art candies as well, because I think that would be a good combination. So I'm going to try to record a few videos today. Um, as you can see, it's 11 in the morning. And I guess I'm not fasting, because I was out late last night and ate pretty late, so I probably wouldn't be able to eat until like 5 or 6 tonight. But again, I'd like to wait until at least afternoon before I start slamming Jolly Ranchers. So I'll probably take some breaks to... There we go, Arcane Shot. And Hunter's Mark. Instant shot causes 13 arcane damage, 6 second cooldown. Okay, I think I can get rid of auto shot. And uh, place on the target, increasing range to attack power of all attackers against the target by 20. In addition, the target of this ability can always be seen by the hunter, whether it's stealth or turns invisible. The target also appears on the mini-map, lasts for two minutes. Um. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, I don't want to start eating a bunch of Jolly Ranchers until at least afternoon. So... In between videos, I'll probably take a break to practice.
this music, or um, I ordered some new lenses for my camera, so I might go to the park because it's a nice day and uh, take some pictures in between, or just relax. There's a, a documentary, one of my friends told me about a music documentary about the Strokes and some other um, punk rock bands in New York when they're working on making it. I think it's called Meet Me in the Bathroom or something. She really recommends it and so she thinks I'd find it uh, inspiring. So I've been meaning to watch that. I might also watch that today. So there's never enough time in the day, but yeah, I'm hoping to record a few videos while mixing in the other stuff I need to do. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, I'm assuming that this one road on the map I'm supposed to be taking and Dalinar stay on the road follow the road south okay I'm going south and follow the cobblestones as the road turns west nice we'll get a new quest and I bet this guy is going to ask me to do something that requires me getting off the road. Porthanus. Greetings, young hunter. Can you offer me aid? I have a package of herbs that I must deliver to the town of Dalinar. But I still have business with the druids of Shadow Glen and cannot yet leave. Can you deliver this package for me? It must be sent to innkeeper Keltamir. Kelt at the Dalinar Inn, it lies along the road to the south. Nice, I'll get some water or some cheese. What a, what a nice reward. Let's try out some of my new skills on this owl. Spiders are 
very unsettling looking. Okay, well, I might try to go deliver that stuff to free up my inventory, and oh my god, I forgot about the ancient protectors. Quite the leather work. 
worker and her years of practice travel west on the road to Darnassus to pay her a visit. Maybe she can bestow some of her knowledge upon you. Okay, so I have to go all the way to Darnassus for that.
important news and commerce travel to and from Darnassus by way of this road daily. We cannot afford to have a rogue band of heathens terrorizing people. Take up arms in the name of the sacred forest hunter. Their den lies somewhere below this vantage point. Slay six of these gnarled pine ambushers and report back to me. This quest pays pretty well. Well, these, uh, these night elves are just asking me to murder everyone in the forest. Okay, is there another room off from here? Okay. Maybe... Maybe down there is the guy I need to meet up with. Okay, so it looks like level 10. No, level 8. Oh, I can dual wield. I can... Oh, I forgot Hunter's can eventually wear a mail. I get tame beast. Raptor strike. Track at humanoids. So I have a lot of exciting things coming up soon, it seems. Uh, there's the cooking trainer. Does that, does that cost a silver? Herbalist. Journeyman alchemist. Where is this guy that I need to bring this file to now? Oh, there we go. How much does cooking cost? Requires meat from beasts to fire to make food. Uh, I don't know if that's a good use of my silver right now. fishing, then I need to buy a fishing pole as well, which I might not have enough money for. This is Guy Hunter. Okay, he's a rogue. Wild star. Oh, that music playing outside isn't picking up. Luckily, I've noticed something 
things from outside that sound kind of loud don't seem to get picked up on the mic as much as I expect them to, so that's a good thing. Okay, this is the guy. Got the druid, the night elf druid things do look pretty cool. That's so close to being a night elf druid. You have something for me. Ah, oh, it's here, I've waited for this rare earth for quite some time. I hope it's still fresh. Thank you for bringing it to me, Jasara. You are a night elf who is generous with her time. Well, he was not very generous with his money, 50 copper. That's thank you again, Jasara. This rare earth will be very helpful in my experiments. Why did he just run like that? That's weird. Oh, nice. Another quest. The creation of Del Drossel. I have no idea if I'm saying any of this stuff even close to right. It was a grand achievement, but now the world must shift to regain its balance. The timberlings of Del Drossel are elementals of nature. In some ways they reflect the nature, the natural order of plants and animals at an honor great tree. So it's disturbing to see how angry the Timberlings have become. I believe it has something to do with the soil. I've been working on different methods of nurturing plants and would like to try them on Timberling, Timberling seeds. Please, can you gather seeds from Timberlings around Lake al Amath and bring them to me? And mushroom caps. Why are people paying me with food? I want money and equipment. Small timberlings are sprouting around at the lakes of Al Ameth, and I'm afraid these sprouts are beyond help. We should try to clear them from the land before they grow large enough to cause trouble. When you're wandering the lake, if you see any timberling sprouts, please take them. Help keep our land clean. And those gloves suck, and those bracers suck. But that's a pretty good reward. Okay, I think I'll probably do these two quests and then call it here. And then we can go to Star Breeze in the, the next one.
Oh, I wish I hadn't sold my dagger now. Crap. Well, a new challenge to overcome. experience this game I just realized I've been playing for almost an hour and I've only gathered like half a level and I had rested XP around 
trying to get my phone and hoping not to like blare audio by mistake. Um, oh wow, their channel name is very similar to mine. ASMR Games Whispers. Very, very similar to my channel name. Did not realize that. But, uh, yeah, again, not trying to discourage you from watching my videos, but just wanted to plug a similar content creator that's making more WoW Classic ASMR content. Um, yeah. Their channel is a lot bigger than mine. I think they have a thousand or two thousand subscribers. They've been doing this for a while. From my limited knowledge, it uh, looks like they started out primarily as like a Sims ASMR channel.
Kasara, I know you want to join my guild. We only invite the prettiest players in the game currently a leveling guild with intention of raiding. Love you, future guild master.
much leather gloves that I can't. You know, I don't eat this. Are these better than the gloves I already have? They are better by one. so many quests. What the hell? You jerk. Freaking razzle. Oh, this guy. What a jerk. Well, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll go and sell everything and stuff before, uh, before I log off so we can start the next one. Going to whatever it's called. Star Breeze. But I guess this is a good time to mention if you do enjoy my content, um, please. Jeez um, Louise, stop hitting me. Um, yeah, if you like my content, please leave a like, and if you'd like to see more, feel free to hit the subscribe button. Would love a comment if you have any thoughts. Would like to let me know if you want to see me play a different game. If you want me to focus on this character, if you want, if you have another class or character you want me to to play, anything like that. Um, I love interacting with the comments. And yeah, I hope you've just enjoyed this video and it's been relaxing. As always, I always say, uh, if you are watching this video to fall asleep, I hope that you aren't hearing this. I hope that, uh, no, I could buy that back for 24 copper. Let's see. were called the Caledoria name that means children of the stars. 
Learning of the past is an important step in your path as a hunter, Chisara. So listen well to what I have to tell you. The Kalidori have always taken much pride in their harmonious relationship with nature. I think that's a bit uh, ironic. This means we only take from nature what is necessary, and that we return in kind if this balance has afforded us much, Chisara. Go out and collect seven small spider's legs, no more than that, and return to me. Okay. No more than seven, that's going to be difficult when spiders have eight legs, but... Oh, what do I know? Oh my god, my inventory's going to be so freaking full. Oh. Sure.